What's up you guys? It's Jensen here. I am so excited because today I'm going to be doing a pregnancy Q&A. Um, I did one of these on my Instagram like stories last week and I just it was so much fun to answer all your guys' questions. There were so many of them. But I wanted to do one on YouTube because I feel like I can go into like a little bit more in depth on questions. So I asked you guys on Instagram any questions you guys had and I'm going to be answering them today. So, uh, let's get into it. Um, first question, first symptoms. So first symptoms were really vivid dreams. I had, I don't know, I just felt like my dreams were very vivid. I had one that I had like a baby boy and that's what, it, yeah, it was really vivid that I was like woke up and was like, that was really weird. Like I was pregnant, then I gave birth, really crazy. Um, so vivid dreams and then I started to notice my skin changing. Um, I had pretty like normal skin um like more i would say it was more dry skin but i started to get really oily skin which is really weird and then my boobs started to hurt a lot and still do so that's really fun but i'd say those were my first like symptoms and yeah and then i mean we ended up we took a test like i was late on my period so two days late on my period so that was another symptom where i was like okay that's weird i'm never late on my period so that's when we tested and we found out so those are the first symptoms i would say where'd she go <gasps> there she is where'd she go you should see your face through my shirt. This is scary. <laughs> this looks funny. <laughs> my eyebrows. Thank you, babe. Okay. <laughs> Next question. How far along are the... Well, <laughs> how far along are you? So excited for you and Toph. Thank you. We're so excited. I am 14 weeks. <laughs> okay. A lot of questions about this. Um, how long were y'all trying... How did you adjust going off birth control? So we were very lucky and we were able to get pregnant the first time we tried, which was very mind blowing. We were both a little surprised, but literally I was just like so relieved and so grateful. Um, so kind of backstory, I got my IUD out in February of 2021. And then I went on the birth control pill after that. And I stopped taking birth control in August and I did that just because I wanted to see if my body like had a cycle because with my with birth control it was definitely different than my IUD with my IUD I didn't have like a period at all so I didn't really have a cycle but with birth control I was able to have like a normal 28 day cycle which I liked because I just felt like my body was doing what it was supposed to be doing but then I wanted to go off um, for like a couple months before we started trying just so I could see if my body would start ovulating what it would be like off birth control because I had been on birth control for like three years so I was kind of just like let's just go off see how my body reacts to that which honestly it was totally fine I actually felt amazing off of birth control um my skin was so great um but yeah, so I didn't have any weird and like my periods were normal, which was awesome. But the first month I didn't ovulate. I just bought these little like digital ones, um, the clear blue digital ovulation test because I have seen women like post like the strips and those suckers just stress me out. So I was like, I just want something to tell me yes, I'm ovulating or no. Um, so I bought the digital ones. I tested the first month and I didn't ovulate, which I was kind of like expecting that. 
And then the second month I t um, tested and I ovulated, which was awesome, but I just didn't, I think I, it's interesting like the days you ovulate and it's so different for everyone, but I think I tested on the second day of ovulations because when I tested the next day, I wasn't ovulating. So then the third month came around and I, we were both like, I think we're ready to start trying. And I, I guess I just timed it right. I don't know. My, I use the app Flow and um, it just told me the two days that they thought, according to my cycle, my symptoms, those were the days that I was ovulating. So I tested that day, I was ovulating. I tested again that night, was ovulating. So we tried that night and then I tested again the next day and I was ovulating still the next day. So I found like my two days that I was like, good, that's so good to know for the next time that we try, I'll, I'll know which, you know, like I know what days to try on. And then it ended up working out, which seriously, so crazy. I feel like a little bit, I was like naive to the situation. Like I didn't know, I kind of just was like, I'll just see what my body does and then just kind of figure it out from there. So didn't have like a huge plan going into it. Didn't have like, I don't know. I just feel like we, I got the ovulation test. I tried that out and ended up working out, which seriously, we're so grateful because I don't know, I had this feeling when I, I feel like I've talked about it on the YouTube channel that it was gonna take me a minute. So it was a relief that it, honestly, it worked the first time. Um, but yeah, shout out to you all that are trying. I literally get so many messages that you guys have been trying for a while now and it's so hard. Like, I mean, I am so grateful, but it's so hard that it's like some people it takes literally one time and some people it takes years so shout out to your mom shout out to the mamas that are trying or the women that are trying to get pregnant you guys are amazing you got this i'm sending all the baby vibes <laughs> but yeah that was how i don't even remember what the question was but that was like our journey to get pregnant okay what's it like being pregnant so this is an interesting question because I'm experiencing it, well, I'm experiencing it right now. And honestly, at first, it doesn't feel real. You're kind of like, what the heck, I'm pregnant? And then you start to feel sick and you're like, okay, yeah, I'm pregnant. Like you feel sick. And then it's just like, it's honestly crazy. Like I'll just like sit and think and be like, I am sitting here on the couch, literally doing nothing, but my body is creating like a human. like. Right now, my baby, I am creating my baby's lungs, which is insane. Like, it's just so cool that women are just amazing. I think it's so cool. But honestly, it's just been so surreal and so amazing that I've been able to do it. And it's been healthy so far. And yeah, it's really, really cool. But then like this morning, I woke up and got a bloody nose. I rarely get bloody noses. And I posted it on Instagram. And so many people were messaging me like, I got bloody noses all the time. Like I just feel like a lot of weird things happen while you're pregnant, which are normal, which is very odd, but I'm just very grateful to be pregnant and have everything, have baby and me be healthy right now. So it's been good. Okay, do you have a feeling what the gender is? I knew from the get-go I was having a boy. So, so funny. I, same thing. I have been feeling ever since the beginning that it's a boy and we actually find out the gender tomorrow and I am freaking out. I wasn't able to sleep tonight and tonight, or last night and tonight, I don't even think I'll be able to sleep. I'm just so excited to find out. But yeah, um, ever since I found out I was pregnant, I just feel like it's a boy. So who knows? When I say that, people are like, oh, you're having a girl. But I'm literally, I just, I'm like, I don't know. I just feel it that it's a boy. So I guess we'll see. And you guys will see, we'll be posting a gender reveal um, video on YouTube. So be super fun. Okay, next question. What vitamins do you take? So this is the perfect question because I take my care of vitamins every day. I am so grateful to care of. They are sponsoring this video. They have sponsored a couple of the Arnold sister videos and we're seriously obsessed with this company. It is so awesome. So if you don't already know, care of is a, a monthly subscription base for vitamins, which is so great because every month you can go on, take a quiz, choose what you need, what you're like feeling. So for this month, I had to change my, I mean, I did this a while ago, but I'm not telling you guys until now, but 
I changed my vitamin pack, so I added a prenatal into my vitamins. I am so excited that care of has an awesome prenatal that I can take every day. As long as well as the prenatal, I got, um, so it's nice too, because they give you like a little card that shows what vitamins that you are in the pack. So I got a B complex uh, for energy support because I've been feeling like very low energy, um, prenatal, and then um, fish oil. So what's so nice about these packs, so it comes in a box like this and it has, a, I think there's 30 in here, but you just take a pack and these are all the vitamins you need for your day, which is so convenient. I take these all the time. I'll just like grab them before I go to the gym and I'll take my um, vitamins before the gym just so I remember like it's in my routine. Um, I love care of so much. I love how personal it is. I love how convenient it is. It's been so nice to be taking. I've been taking them for like six months now and I love them so much and I love that I was able to add my prenatal so I can get that taken care of. And I just love this company so much. Okay, if you've been wanting to try out care of now is the time all you need to do is take the vitamin quiz and see what vitamins they recommend for you click on the link below and use our code arnold sisters for 50 percent off your first order with care of okay um a lot of you asked like what's my workout routine what kind of workouts can you do while pregnant so i'm just doing what i normally do um so i've been going to burn doing all those workouts i'll have to like modify some things but i my biggest thing is I have I have heard and also I really want to make sure I stay very active during this pregnancy. Um, I just well first I love to work out like it makes me so happy to go and work out. So and on days where I'm not feeling good and I go and work out when I come home I feel so much better. So I really want to make sure that I like make that a priority. And two, I've just heard that it's just really good for the pregnancy and birth and postpartum. Just that your body is strong and that you can handle, you know, you can handle those crazy things that will happen to my body soon, which is terrifying. But yeah, so I just really want to make, I really want to stay active as much as I can. But like I said, I'm doing modifications at the gym. Some things like I can already tell like some, some things with my abs, like it'll just like kind of pull weird. And so I'll just like do something different like I'll just do I don't know a lot of like but on ab days I just haven't been going because I don't know I've read some things that you should just kind of like steer clear from abs while you're pregnant and I mean I can do like side abs but I shouldn't be like focusing on like I don't know and two why should I focus on my abs it's like it's not I'm not getting a six pack while I'm pregnant so yeah so I've been doing the same things trying to work out like five, six times a week. And yeah, it's been good. When I, in the first trimester, I maybe worked out twice a week, but that was still good enough for me. So I'm just kind of like listening to my body, but I really want to stay active. Okay, do you have baby names picked out already? Will baby get a mid middle name? So yes, we do. I don't think I'm gonna tell, I'm not gonna announce it until baby is here. But we have a top name for a boy and a girl. I think we'll do a middle name for the boy and the girl. We won't do a middle name. Um, I don't know why that's, I don't know why that's like a tradition. But like I didn't, I didn't have a middle name. Topher has a middle name. And so, yeah. But too, I think we'll just like kind of see what we want to do. But I think for right now, we have our names. And it's so fun. Because literally like the girl name that I've, I've had it since high school and I freaking just love the name and I'm just like, oh my gosh. And then the boy name we came up to get, came up with together is so cute too. So either one, we're excited. Oh my gosh. Okay. So question, I didn't get, I haven't gotten this question and this is probably one of the craziest, weirdest symptoms I've had. So have you felt cramping? So yes, which is really weird. I expected I was gonna get pregnant and I was not gonna feel any period symptoms for a really long time. And a lot of the first trimester, I was really crampy, which made me kind of nervous because, I mean, if you like look it up, I don't know, I was just nervous. And, but I mean, it makes sense because it's like my uterus is growing so my body is cramping. But yeah, I feel like I've had a lot of cramping. Lately, I haven't. More, I just feel like my body just kind of aches, but the cramping was really weird at first and I feel like not, nobody talks about that like I didn't know that was a thing like I 
got nervous when I felt cramps because I'm like, that's you shouldn't be having cramps while you're pregnant. But I got them a lot. And now I just feel like I try to keep myself super hydrated when I get cramps. So I just drink lots of water and just like sit down, chill out. But yeah, so random. I literally was like, I thought I wasn't going to have to feel, because they feel like period cramps. And I'm like, I feel like I wasn't supposed to feel that for a long time. But whatever. Um, what are you craving? So during the first trimester, literally it was nothing. I thought of food and it made me so, so sick. The only thing I could like, I was like, ooh, that sounds good, was Gatorade Zero. The light blue flavor was so good. Like it tasted so good. Um, but then like this second trimester, it's just been kind of weird. Like I feel like my recent craving is like strawberries. Like last night I literally had like 10 strawberries in bed. They were so good. I walked into Trader Joe's yesterday and I could smell the strawberries. Literally they were in the back corner. And I could, as soon as I walked in, I could smell them. And I was like, oh, I need to get those. So those are my thing right now. So the weird thing too is like I crave like sweet things, but then I also crave salty things. And if you're like into the whole gender, um, prediction I just don't know because I'm like on both sides but I really love hot Cheetos those are really good um fruit is really good just any kind of like cold fruit <sighs> that's all I can think of for now okay how did you know you were ready for a baby so literally I don't know if I was like 100% ready and I don't know if anyone could tell you that they were 100% ready um, but I just knew we were at a point in our lives where we were like ready to add a baby. Um, I feel like there's a lot of things that you kind of like have to prepare for while you're pregnant. You know what I mean? But I think we both were just like, yeah, let's start trying and see what happens. And I, I have wanted to be a mom for literally as long as I can remember. Like I remember people would ask me like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I would be like, I want to be a mom. So I'm really excited to be a mom. I think there's a lot of things that will just be, I don't know. We'll just have to like get ready for, which is totally fine. But I think we'll be good. We'll be good. Okay. How many kids do you want? So I think we want either three or four. I feel like it'll just depend how we're doing with them. Like if we have two and we're like, holy crap, we cannot add another one. Or if we're like, let's have more if we love it. So I think I would say like three or four. How do you think Ace will react to the baby? So this is something I'm really nervous about because Ace has literally been our baby since we were first married. Like we got him a couple months after we got married. So he's literally our everything and I think it's gonna be so hard that we're gonna bring home a baby and we're gonna have to have give so much attention to the baby. Um, the thing about Ace though, he's so sweet. Like the other day I was watching Sage and he like totally let her just like collapse on him and pet him and like she was giving him kisses. So he's like really sweet, which makes me excited that he is not like, he doesn't get like sassy or aggressive he's not that way at all but which is awesome but i think it'll be sad i think it'll be hard it'll be an adjustment for sure for him and for us just because he's literally been our everything for so long and so it'll be hard to have i mean yeah we'll figure it out but i'm just glad he's like sweet and gentle with kids because that would be hard if he wasn't and yeah so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I think it'll be a big adjustment because he just get, like you can tell when Sage is here, he'll come and like sit right next to me and be like, I'm here, like don't forget about me. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, a lot of questions if we're like moving, house hunting. So um, will you move or do you have room for a nursery? So right now in our apartment, we have a two bedroom apartment, apartment so it could work but we really want a house. And I think finding out that we were pregnant kind of like is pushing us more to get a house. So we are looking right now. Um, the biggest thing is we live on the third floor and there's no elevators and I cannot imagine bringing up baby in the car seat up three sets of floors if I have like grocery or something, groceries or something, Tover's laughing at me. But seriously, that would, it would be really hard. So. I think that's the biggest thing. We have room for it right now, but I'm like, I just wanna, we just want a house and we're ready for that. So we're looking right now. Hopefully we find something that we love. 
Um, we just don't want to rush it either, just like buy a house to buy a house. So we're in the process of that, but I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, home birth or hospital birth. So we are doing a hospital birth. Um, and yeah, we're, I really, so we met our doctor a couple weeks ago and I'm really excited about my doctor. He's really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do a hospital. I'm not against either, but for me, I would, I would rather be at the hospital. If anything went wrong, I would be in good hands. So that's just my plan. And then a lot of you are asking like epidural, no epidural, epidural, 100%. Get me numb. I don't want to feel anything. Um, but I don't really have like a birth plan of like, I don't know, like if I honestly, I just am like, whatever the baby needs, whatever I need to be safe, like both of us to be safe. However that happens, I am totally okay with it. That's like a C-section. That's fine. If it's vaginally, that's great. Literally, I'm like, I just feel like I'm kind of like, and I too, it's like birth is a while away. So I feel like right now I don't really have like my birth plan, but I'm like, I know that I want it. I want an epidural that I want to be at the hospital, but however the baby decides to come out is kind of like not in my control. Um, and I just want it. I just want the baby to be healthy. I want me to be healthy. So however that has to happen, that's how it happened, which is so crazy. I can't even, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to give birth, but also just like so many unknowns. So crazy. Oh, this is cute. Okay. What color eyes do you think the baby will have? What do you think? Topher's here working over here. That's why I keep looking over here. Orange. Orange. Orange eyes. Because you know, I've got really orange eyes. I don't know. I feel like, so this is a crazy thing. Just with like jeans, what the baby's gonna look, I think I'm most excited just to see what we create together, like what our baby's gonna look like. But Topher's family has very strong genes. Like his sisters and their kid, like, they're, the Hill gene pulls super strong, but so does the Arnold gene. So I'm going to be really interested to see like what the baby gets from me or him. So crazy. I mean, I would be so happy if they had brown eyes because then I'd be like, oh my gosh, you have your dad's eyes. And then Topher always says that he wants the baby to have my eyes because I have blue eyes. But literally don't care. I'm just like so excited to see what we make. It'll be so much fun. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I think I answered a lot of questions. Sorry if I talked a lot. I feel like I'd get really into depth on questions when I probably don't need to. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little video. It was fun to make. I want to do these like throughout my pregnancy because I feel like there's a lot that comes like the further you get along, like different questions and stuff. And it's just fun to like answer them for you guys because I'm sure you have tons of questions. Um, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the link in our description for Care Of. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye guys.